morning, chilladies. My name is Jacksepticeye, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Things are getting weird. I don't know what to expect anymore. Uh, somebody's very, very sad. Somebody else came over to my house and had a great time, but it was kind of tainted by something else. Monica keeps breaking the fourth wall. Things are getting crazy. Um, and after the reaction to the other episode that just went up, people are like, Oh, Jack's getting to the weird shit now, so... Okay, strap yourselves in. <coughs> Jack! You're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared where that has all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You think that on days this important, she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday, and I suddenly feel awful, knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking, but maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, Jack. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? How did, how did you know? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after all. But... I stammer, embarrassed. Did Siori really tell her about it that quickly? About how I basically turned down her confession? That makes me really seem like the bad guy here. But I'm the one who knows what's best for her, right? Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Okay. <laughs> Monica is being as friendly as usual. For some reason, I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? I do not trust you. This is... She's weird. They came out really nice. But so, because she's broken the fourth wall already and told you to save your game, does she know directly what the player is doing? Yeah, sure. I grab one of the pamphlets laid out on the desks. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flip through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flip the Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Oh, God. It just says, get out of my head over and over and over again. Oh, creepy. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. So is she saying that to me? That I'm the thing that she can't get out of her head? Oh god. Ah, uh, what is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. I keep having to check the fucking game files now as well, because it's causing shit on me. Jack? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori's written. But more than that, I, I, I changed my mind. I'm gonna go get Sayori, so... Ah, uh, well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself! Monica calls that out after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. It's all she needs, and what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. Oh no. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. Isn't that more like something a boyfriend would do? I'm so nervous. In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy! There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. 
Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Oh my god! What the fuck? What the fuck? What's happening? What's happening? A new file just went into my game folders. Oh no! See traceback.txt for details. I'm sorry, but an uncaught exception occurred. While running game code. Restart top context. Oh geez, I didn't break anything, did I? Hold on a sec, I can probably fix this. I think... Actually, you know what? This would probably be a lot easier if I just deleted her. She's the one that's making this so difficult. What? What the fuck is going on? What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Siori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe my eyes are showing me. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Siori I would be there for her. I told her I know it's best and that everything would be okay. Oh, that's why she didn't come out this morning! Wait a second. No fucking way. There's a folder in the game called characters. And in that folder, I've checked it before, it just had monica.chr, natsuki.chr, and yuri.chr. But it also had Sayori, and Sayori's gone now. So her character has actually been deleted from the game files. Oh, this is creepy! I don't like this! <laughs> That's why it was Monica, wasn't it? Because she's the one breaking the fourth wall. There's, there's only one character who could actually do that, and she was talking in this. She's the one saying, I didn't break anything, did I? It would be a lot easier if I just deleted her. Haha, <laughs> well, here goes nothing. You actually just deleted Sayori from the game. Oh, this is cute. Oh, I get it. I get it now. I get what people were talking about. How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Turning down her confession? That has to have been what pushed her over the edge. Her agonized scream still echoes in my ears. Why did I do that to her when she needed me the most? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault, and the music's getting all creepy. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and gave her what I know she wanted out of our relationship, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club, screw the festival, I just... lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with, she's gone forever now. Nothing I do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. Well, technically it is, and that's what Monica was saying. To save your thing! I only had one chance and I wasn't careful enough. And now I carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. 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 No, say- what?! Oh no! Oh no! I don't like it! <laughs> so, Sayori is gone! But now all that's left is like an amalgamation of the other characters in her place. Ah! Oh no! It's starting the game again, but it's all fucked up. I see an annoying girl run toward me from the distance, waving her. Oh god. That girl is. She just has no name anymore. Oh, is she gonna- is she gonna turn up all fucked up? 
<laughs> oh, Jesus, no! <laughs> oh, fuck you, game! Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I am so into this! This is an outstanding turn of events! I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that, but I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly- So now, the game has basically started again. It tried to do it with Sayori in it, realized the character is gone. And then... Just decided to make up a scenario where that character never existed, so now we're getting new dialogue. I mean, obviously completely intentional by the developers, but that's awesome! It's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. Okay, this is all the same, but different. Frankly, stare at the wall looking for- okay. Clubs. This is all the same. We've- we've read this before. Because I have no choice but to start with the anime club. And this is where Sayori would come in. Check- oh, mother of god. Oh god, she turned into Monica! Monica, what did you do?! Monica? Oh my goodness! I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah. It has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league, so having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What did you come in here for, anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? Guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Ah, uh, about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand- yeah, Okay, this is the same. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you say to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. Oh, fuck. That's Sayori trying to get through. A literature club. Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there's only three of us so far. You fucking liar! There was four! It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean... One of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, Jack, by any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh, I'm, I, mean, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Are we just progressing now? Forgetting that Sayori ever existed? Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Uh, awesome. You're really sweet, Jack, you know that? It, it's really nothing. Shall we go then? I look for the materials another time. You're more important. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Is she like a character who's able to see through like... She's like Deadpool. Or Flowey. She's able to like see through the game. She's able to see through the fact that it's a game and she's talking... Like she knows that you're gonna be there, she kinda needs you for something and... Or maybe she wants me and she's getting rid of all the other girls. Although she only Sayori's dead. But she- oh, it sounds weird. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit because- Yeah, this is all the same. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back! And I brought a guest with me! Oh, fucking Christ! Okay, this is terrifying! Uh, a- a guest? 
No, that means all my progress with Yuri is reverted! No! We were getting along so well! Wait, I wonder did any... Okay, happy thoughts is the same. <laughs> oh, I'm nervous. Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Jack. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. All this stuff we've seen before. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude is name apparently Natsuki. Yeah, these, this is all the same as well. Uh, anyway, this is Natsuki. Energetic as usual. Except Sayori was the one introducing me to all of these the last time. And this is Yuri, the vice president. No! Sayori was the voice pre voice president. It, it's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So, I ran into Jack in a classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica! Did, didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to... Well, you know. Sorry, sorry, I, I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Jack? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens up the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I suppose there aren't more people in the club yet. You know, I'm surprised there's not one energetic pink-haired girl with a ribbon who's lovely and we all forgot about! It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting all, out all the effort for something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. She didn't. You don't deserve this. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. Well, I keep saying that, but she might not have anything to do with it at all, but... I'm on to you. She currently places the teacup in front of each of us. Some of this is all the same, so I'm just repeating the same lines. Keep a whole tea set in the classroom. Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, I'll talk up to you, do you a good book? I guess. Uh, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, th th that's not uh, insulted. Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Jack, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read the past few years. You didn't! You read a lot! You're answering the same thing! But I as a player- this is like Groundhog Day! But I as the player know! And I'm playing as Bill Murray who doesn't know! Really weird. I'm skipping some of this because this is all stuff we've seen. And now, when I went into the settings before, it said, Skip unseen text. So does this mean skip everything except the unseen text? Because I would like that, because now I don't want to reread everything I've read already. Okay, I'm gonna save. No! No! Oh, fucking weird! These were all saves and now they're gone! Oh, that's awesome! Monica, what did you do? Okay, I wanna see what happens if I- if I click this. Okay, 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 stop, stop, stop. Do you have any writing experience too, Yuri? 
Maybe you share some- Okay, I don't know if I actually skipped some shit, sorry. You can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? This is all the stuff I've seen! You've unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? I hope I didn't actually skip anything, sorry. It's just a lot of that was the exact same stuff, just missing Sayori. Okay, I'm on to you, game. I'm checking your shit. A dream. I was wandering an abandoned warehouse at night. I was lost, looking for an exit. Just wanted to go home. I came upon a huge empty room, its ceilings and walls the deep black beyond the deep blackness. My steps were quick in order to hurry to the other side, or to a wall. Anything. Suddenly, the ground was no longer beneath my feet. I stepped into a hole of inter intermediate, inter indeterminate width. I fell for a good five seconds before crashing into warm water. Figuring out which way was up, I surfaced myself. The air was humid and the sounds of my splashing reverberated endlessly. My vision was completely swallowed by the dark. With one hand, I could feel the damp metal wall of the container. My lungs were already getting tired. What? Oh no. Okay, so since I went through this already, and since I did Yuri stuff, let's see what happens if I go with Natsuki stuff now. Um Boop. Uh sweet. This is the stuff that I said would all be perfect for her. Uh dance. Yeah. Let's see if I can actually predict her. If she really was that easy all along. And get 20 out of 20 for her. Um Oh. Oh. Melody? Yeah. Um chocolate. Fun. Sugar. <laughs> uh twirl. Joy. What? You like joy? Since when, Yuri? I know you, okay? Um, Valentine. Bunnies. Puppies. Heart. Giggle. Milk. <laughs> I thought that's a chillax. Climax. Um, hope. Oh, shit. And love. Oh no. Oh no, stop. Stop! Oh, it's almost like the game is like, hey, remember me? <laughs> it's one of those things that it's like the game knows what you're doing, and it's giving you that like creep up your back. Hi again, Jack. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, at least you give me a word. This is the stuff I said to Sayori. Oh god, stop! You must stop this! Thanks for keeping your promise, Jack. I hope it's not too long. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no! No! Oh, come on! Like he deserves any slack. This is all stuff we've read before as well. Why are you in front of the text? Now my now I'm now I'm like keyed into everything. Now that I know what type of game this is. I'm like, I'm identifying every single little clue. Like her standing in front of the text, does that mean she thinks she's in front of the other girls? Um, this is all the same stuff. I'll read the stuff that I think is new. Uh, see, I want to skip, but I feel like it's not actually skipping the unseen stuff. Or skipping to the unseen stuff. And it sounds like the music is slightly going out of tune. Okay, yeah, this is us reading the book again. I should look it up just so I- just so I know. Oh god! There's a f there's a text file in the folders now that says, can you hear me? There's a little devil inside all of us. Beneath their manufactured perception, their artificial reality, 
is a writhing, twisted mess of dread. Loathing, judgement, elitism, self-doubt, all thrashing to escape the feeble hold of their host, seeping through every little crevice they can find, into their willpower, starving them of all motivation and desire, into their stomach, forcing them to drown their guilt in comfort food, or into a newly opened gash in their skin, hidden only by the sleeves of a cute new shirt. Such a deplorable, tangled mass I all is already present in every single one of them. That's why I choose not to blame myself for their actions. All I did was untie the knot. Okay, so... Newly opened gash in their skin, hidden only by the sleeves of a cute new shirt. Seems like she's- whoever this is is talking about Yuri. Loathing, judgment, elitism, self-doubt, is that Natsuki? Oh, this is really bizarre. This is phenomenal. I love this type of shit. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. Oh, this is new. Okay. You looking for something in there? Oh, fucking Monica! She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga! You eat manga, right? Uh, sometimes. I've known to dabble. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out what the other person stands. <laughs> How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I. Uh, I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst the stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand, and she turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box that sh set she's admiring. Parfait Girls? It's a series I've never heard in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. <laughs> way to be elitist, my dude. Um, okay, keeping an eye on files. If you're gonna judge, you can go do it through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. I was totally judging in my head, though. What's the tone of your voice? But I'll tell you one thing, Jack. Consider this a oh fuck. Don't judge a book. Is this you saying this? Is this Sayori trying to get through to me? Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Ah! I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire striking animated feminine poses. Sounds very familiar. It's exceedingly mo. Would you stand there? What? Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can read the same time at the same time like that. Uh, why is that? Uh, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. D don't. Just say that! You make me feel weird about it! Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. This is like what I was doing with Yuri, but now it's Natsuki. Didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm, you don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. Looks like it's a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. 
Are you saying something, developer, about your own game? Oh god, you look even more like a child now that I'm this close. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read. Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. Because it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Oh? You don't? Um, that's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Ah. Sorry. Hmm. Like I could ever get my friends to read this. You just think manga is for kids. Can't even bring it up without them being all like, Ugh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch him in the face. Ugh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated toward the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. My dad would beat the shit out of me if he found this. Whoa! At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica's kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. At least you're enjoying yourself, right? Uh... So? <laughs> Jeez, that's enough! Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah, I flipped the page. Time passes. Natsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. Aw, oh, she's asleep. Hey, Natsuki? Hey, yeah? Suddenly, Nats Natsuki collapses straight into me. Hey! Oh, God, no! Oh, why? What the fuck is this? Why are you all weird all of a sudden? What the fuck? Oh, jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? Here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give me- <clears throat> She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, Jack. She's fine. It just happens now and then. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. I'm getting really weird, like, controlling AI vibes from you. Controlling all the other aspects of the game. This is fucking cool. Anyway, why don't we all share our poems now? Okay, let's- let's go to Yuri, then Natsuki, then Monica. Because I want to see what Yuri thinks of my poem now. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um... Oh, so sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Uh, um... It's fine. Don't force yourself. I I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah? Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, uh, so it's that bad? N no Did I just raise my voice? Oh, oh, I'm, so I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. Maybe I should have gone for Yuri's poem again. What if me picking a girl is ends up saving that girl? Couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. Might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers, and having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. Okay, yeah, this is the same stuff as before. Okay. Yeah, this is all the same. Okay, let's see if her poem is the same. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath- Yeah, this is the same. 
<sighs> okay. Terrible handwriting, we've been here before. Hmm, yeah, this is all the same. Maybe I should just skip. Okay, Natsuki. Okay, well let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um... Natsuki rereads my poem. Ne never mind! I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Uh, then what's the point of sharing it in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Ugh. In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when I was writing this. I wanted to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Ugh. Well, I'd be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, Ha! Well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. Hope you're happy. So, in other words, you're saying you liked it? Ugh. Let's get your tort gets caught in her throat. Ugh. You're so... You just... You... Don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you are all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I have to figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Ugh, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Same one. Okay. Alrighty. So is this basically saying it matters fuck all what you write? Is this the same stuff? Yep. She's gonna give me the same writing tip of the day. Okay, stop. Uh, ha ha, fuck. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss it? Yeah, this is the same. See? Oh, the notes are different in that song. Are things gonna get... So, my prediction of what's gonna happen is that the, the deeper into this I get, more characters are gonna start disappearing. And then... The game is gonna get progressively more fucked up. Yeah, that's saying that... Talking about her boobs being big, and talking that Jack liked my poem as well, and... Oh, there was some text in there that I didn't get to see. Shit! Fuck, I skipped to the- Oh god, don't do that! I can't actually pick! Oh god, no! Stop! Jack, why don't we step outside for a little bit, okay? <laughs> what the fuck is happening, man? Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> Some president I am, right? Can't even confront my own club members properly. Just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Uh, anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend some time with you instead. Suddenly Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Oh no, she's crying. She quickly runs away. Oh, oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I, I didn't mean it. I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Jack, pl please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. 
Anyway, the meeting is over. You can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. But she keeps glancing at Monica. Y you you can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. Kind of sounds like you don't want me around or something, Yuri. Yuck. It It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Jack. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. Uh, I guess I don't really have a choice. Do I? I I'm sorry for causing you trouble. <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck me, dude. Fuck me, dude. It's Monica. Monica's doing everything. It's like she's supposed to be controlling the girls. That's why she's the president. And when they try and go against her, she just fucks it all up. I mean, if that wasn't telling that when they were arguing, she just came out of nowhere, came in front of all the dialogue options and everything, basically breaching the game and talking directly to the player. Oh, fucking weird. Okay, all the other characters are still there anyway. Okay, I guess it doesn't fucking matter what I pick around here. It just seems that it's all random. Well, I picked a lot of Yuri stuff anyway, it seems. Another day has- another day passed and it's time for the club meeting already. This- this game- oh no, there's another thing. There's a text file and it just has all the letter, like, lowercase i's. Just like I, 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 what does it say? I hate this. I can't do anything. Nothing! No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would be really, really easy to kill myself right now. But that would mean I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want is for you to hate them. Why is that so hard? Is that Monica talking to me? Okay, uh, um, Yuri, because it's like, it's like she was acting out not under her own will, that Monica was making her do stuff. Saying that, like, she kept glancing over at Monica saying that she's not normally like this. And then Monica was like, I didn't want to have to do this, or you're going to make me do it, aren't you? And then the day ended, like she didn't have a choice. Natsuki's reading manga at a desk, and surprisingly Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my hand and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri! I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized, but... You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple of days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I already had decided that there's no way you could be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Uh, uh, Jack, don't say those kinds of things so frankly, they make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person, and I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around, and... Uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Uh, uh, no, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man... Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Yuri's clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. Like something reset and didn't happen and somebody can't remember it. N no, I haven't. Jeez. This isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? What are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday, I just wanted to apologize. 
I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So... Yuri! What the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Oh, fuck. Yuri's gonna be the next one to die, isn't she? Because she's not under the spell anymore. She's not a puppet anymore. Jeez! Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? B but I'll accept your apology anyway, if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear, since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> N no not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey, suddenly the door swings open. S -s sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah, well, Natsuki was. I, I was not. <laughs> what took you so long, anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, kind of just lost track of time. So this is the same. That makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. Yeah, same. Practicing piano. Okay. Working on a song. Won't let you down, Jack. Monica smiles sweetly. Monica wants me all to herself, doesn't she? Don't worry. It's something that I could share with you anyway. I was practicing so much recently. Yeah. Now now that I think back to her saying that line that she was practicing the song a bit too much recently because of me. Now I get it. Was she under was she controlling Sayori from the start and made her bring me into the club? Jack, um since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in in the club. Suppose so. Yeah, this is the same, because I made the joke last time, like, in the club? She's reading over there, so it's okay, right? Ah, in that case, I don't see any problem. Okay, can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm, I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. I'm on to you. I'm not reading, by the way, because this is all stuff we've seen before. Or some of it is very similar to what we've seen before, so... Sorry if it seems like I'm just skipping over it. Portrait of Markov, same. Okay. Ah, shit! I was like, we'd skip a little bit ahead and see, but some of the fucking black dialogue came up. Damn it! What's auto? Is it just skip on its own? I have not as interest in anything. Oh, they just skip anyway. It said something about my whole body. Fuck, dude. Oh, creepy. So good. I love it. Like, I've, I've said this before. I think even some of the games that I've played that have done this before as well. I love fourth wall breaks. That's one of the reasons I love Deadpool so much. So this is awesome. No oh, fucking Christ! It still gets me every time. Stop glitching out like that. Let, let me just get the book. I quickly retrieve the book and put it in my bag. It's fine if I sit right here. Yeah, this is the one that she said she had two copies, right? And so we sit next to each other. Keep an eye out. Oh fuck. It skips it on its own. I didn't like I I didn't even click that time. It just like flipped over itself. I don't really mean to, sorry. I mean Yeah, now we're going to sit next to each other at our desks. This day is all the same. And keeping my eyes peeled on the environment as well. You might be able to see some of the dialogue if you're watching the video. Um, and a little trick if you're watching YouTube videos, if you're 
If you're watching the video, you can actually go frame by frame on YouTube. The left and right arrow keys on your computer, you can't do this on phones or mobile devices, but left and right arrow keys on your computer skip forwards and back five seconds. And then the comma and the the full stop icons on your keyboard go frame by frame. Um, they're also a little like um, greater or minus or greater and less than signs on your keyboard, so you can do that. So, some of the dialogue that skips over on its own, you can actually go back and go frame by frame and see it for yourselves. I can't do that because I'm- it just skips it on its own and I can't see it here. And if- if it's not actually working on your video, click the video itself. Click play or click the video- uh, video window and then play it again and then it should allow you to use the keyboard to be able to skip through stuff. And instead of pressing space to pause and unpause your videos, I don't know why, but the actual button to pause and unpause videos on YouTube is K. I don't know, so you can use K to like spam pause or not to see some weird shit. I feel like that's gonna be good advice for this series. So this is me telling her that the character reminds me of her. Now we're talking about, yeah. She stands up and rushes out of the classroom. Shit, I missed something. What on earth was that about? Jack? Did something happen just now? Uh, I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So, you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no. Not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No, no nothing. Uh, don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's not alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start sharing our poems with each other? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so... I just start figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up, I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, and then slip it back into my bag. Okay, let's go to Monica last, because she's the fucked up one. Well, it's not terrible, but it's pretty disappointing after your last one. And again, if this one was as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was thought never to expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. This is new. Because <gasps> before I wasn't able to actually read her poems, she would skip over me and say, fuck you or whatever. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. And that's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. Doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. Doesn't matter if she keeps it private. Doesn't matter if, she, if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm gonna tell everyone. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. Maybe you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. Fuck Amy, fuck spiders. Pretty simple. I doubt I have to explain it. Like anyone would agree- Like anyone would agree that the subject of the poem is an ignorant jerk. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or a guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid if people find out, they'd make fun of you or think any less of you. Anime. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes, as long as they're not hurting anyone, and it makes them happy. Yeah, I guess I could agree with that. Wait. Okay. 
Yuri left in a rush, and then I was like, wait, is she still in the game, but her character is still in the folder? I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Such as two of the girls in this very club, whom I respectfully won't name. Kind of ironic that even in my one place of comfort, I can't even have people respect me. Jeez, now you're making me complain too much. Well, why don't I do? For what it's worth, I respect you. Well, I guess thanks. It's kind of obvious that you respect Yuri more. So, whatever. We're not sharing. You can leave now. <laughs> You're a lot like Nugget. Hi again, Jack. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that as long as it's not going bad. Hobby, you're applying yourself. This is all the same as well. Here my poem to Monica. Great job, Jack. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. Definitely remember her saying that line before. Um... Okay. I want to see if she says anything about Yuri. Hmm. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Uh, already? Uh, I'm sorry for being late. Uh, no need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright, thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get to my poem now. Anyway, you wanna read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Yeah, save me. Yeah, I read this one before. Oh, I read it, but it wasn't accentuated like this. Some of the letters are actually missing now. Cacophony is capitalized. Stop, sine, cosine, tangent. Knife, breathing rib cage. I knew you had weird letters under your stuff for some reason. Oh shit, there was more to it. Fuck. Oh, I don't like it! Monica's writing tip of the day. You're facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. It said, wait, who am I talking to? Tell me, you can hear me. Please tell me. Please help me. Okay. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Ah! I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. You seem to promise surprise. Do you like it? Jack, how did you pick up on this so quickly? This is all the same. Ah, oh, she's blushing. That makes me so happy. It's amazing to feel like I'm valued, Jack. My heart pounds just holding it. Ha ha ha. All the same stuff again. Rotating wheel, turning on an axle, grinding. Bolt head. Linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a docked ship. A portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope. A, th a torn harness. Parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled. What the fuck? A kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. A time devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox, breathing bolt head, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes. Okay. Uh, doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. That is, a, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I, um, I just really like the, the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. <laughs> I, I, I'm okay. What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. We've unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Oh, the last one was so fucking weird, though. I can't convince myself to go to therapy when I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'd rather keep this up until I blow my cover and someone takes me to the emergency room. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could come sit in front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. I actually said that, but she said it as well. 
That's why I didn't read it in her voice. I was saying it to myself. Do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We should end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well in last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're gonna keep it simple, okay? Look, I was a bit a little more lively ever since Jack joined. We started some club activities. This isn't time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members, and the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. All members would just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The literature club could be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too, you know, like you never want to leave. I know we all do, so that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Jack? Ah. Uh. Oh, come on! You can't take advantage of Jack to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica, do you really think any of us here joined the club with the other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Jack joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. Maybe she's the one going through, like, family issues. She said something about her dad would beat the shit out of me if he found it. I know that was the, the black text, but... That's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider your opinions for once. Our opinions for once. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's... not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Jack want to get more members too. Right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I'd probably be lying. Still. If it's up to me to rescue this situation? Um, no. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club is nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way I did? But that doesn't mean we... that we're against getting new members or anything. Jack, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well... It's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact... If I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all of this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't many other places like that for me. I know Monica wants to take that away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Jack! It's not a saying. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. With this one... I mean... At least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Oh. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? Oh god, is that your thoughts breaking through? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now, and I'm just happy with you here, but still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Oh god! <laughs> I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decisions that's right for the club. What about you, Jack? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same questions as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing for e is for everyone to just get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. 
I don't think it's about new member or about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. Oh god, her fucking eye is bleeding. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright, well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Uh, um, I know things were a little bit awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also, a wonderful friend. M monica I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever, okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Jack? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat with a little bit with Jack before we leave. Just want to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay, I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. Please don't leave me alone with her. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the room. Phew. Things have been a little hectic lately, haven't they? Jack, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I'd really hate to see you unhappy. I feel like I'm kind of responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you. You know, I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time with how mean Natsuki is and everything and Yuri being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, We've hardly gotten to spend any time together. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk to you about. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why. No, stop it! Oh! Interesting! So now I'm- now I'm starting to think Maybe Sayori is interfe intervening with everything I didn't get any new files, but I wonder if any other stuff has changed Nah, everything still seems to be the same anyway So fucking weird Okay, well I'm gonna leave this episode of Doki Doki here Doki Doki is not Okie Doki. Holy shit this got good I mean, I was into it already. I would have been into this even if it was just a regular, like, visual novel dating game. I mean, just because I like the characters that it was bringing up, but holy crap! This has everything that I love in it. Like, kooky characters, weird twists, all of a sudden the glitchy shit happens and then we have fourth wall breaks and it puts stuff in your folders. That is outstanding. I love this so much. I'm so excited to play more of this now. Now I get it. I get- I get what people were saying. And I kind of had an inkling... Because the game at the start was like... Oh, if you have depression or anxiety or any of these things, this might not be a game for you. So I was like, okay, it's gonna tackle issues like that or issues that... Relate to those topics. So then when it started talking about depression and self-harm, I was like, okay. Kind of felt like it was going there. Didn't expect it to get that real. But... I- I thought that that was the thing. All of a sudden, just... Whoosh! Zero to a hundred real fucking fast. Man, okay, I get it. I get it. I get why everyone was like, don't read anything about this game. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil this! Anybody in the comments, do not spoil this for others. This is an incredibly unique thing. And it's- it's very, very... It's very shocking when you see it for the first time. 
So, ruining that for people would would suck. And now, now I'm at odds because now it's like, how do I title and thumbnail this series without giving too much away? But also kind of hinting at it at the same time? I don't know, I'll, I'll figure something out. This is my- this is my specialty. <laughs> oh man, so good. This is my favorite episode of it so far. Oh, I'm all abuzz with theories and suspicions and everything now. Man, okay, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face! Like a boys! And... Bye bye, Zoro. Thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes! Oh well, I guess we'll see you next time.